Hi everyone, welcome to D-Education. So this is a platform wherein I bring different designers from different aspects to know about their design education and how design education has shaped them, their career and their life. So on this episode, we have Shweta with us. Hi, Shweta. Hi, Tej. So Shweta, how's your day going? My day is going great today. It's a Saturday, lazy Saturday. <laughs> this, this should be a good session. That's wonderful. So Shweta, if you could give a brief about yourself to our viewers out there. Okay. So hi guys, I am Shweta Salpe. I am an experienced designer. Um, I currently work for an MNC as a design manager. Um, I initially completed my bachelor's in engineering and then I moved on to do my uh, postgraduate uh, diploma in product design. Um, that I did from MIT Institute of Design in Pune and, and so far it has been an exciting journey. Uh, so my experience has been both uh, in technology as well as design. So it's been so much of, you know, a varied experience which I am um, able to have and it's fun. It's really fun. That's yeah. wonderful, Shweta. So if you could take us through your journey into design and what made you choose to do masters or what made you you know, change that decision after engineering. Okay, so it is a little uh, long story. Um, I did my engineering uh, back in 2008. I kind of worked after that for almost over five years. Um, I was an SAP consultant. Um, you can compare my role to uh, a BA. I mean, if uh, yeah, a business analyst. Um, I had absolutely fun uh, in that particular role um, as an SAP consultant, but there was a time when, you know, I um, had this midlife crisis, you can say, and I asked myself a question that can I do this? Can I be doing this for the rest of my life or maybe whatever the 10 year, 20 year down the line, do I see myself doing the same thing? And uh, it kind of had gotten monotonous uh, for me as well. Um, so that is a time when I kind of reflected um, back to what I really want to do in life and what gives me happiness. Um, it was not easy to find out a lot of options uh, back then because, um, yeah, um, I started my research when a friend suggested about, hey, uh, why don't you try for uh, IDC okay, in IIT Bombay. So that is that that was that seed was planted there. Uh, I started my research from there, and it went on that okay. There are so many design colleges in India. Um, so back then, when I graduated, uh, when I did my tenth and twelfth, I did not have access to internet so easily. Okay, so we we used to get these books wherein there is a limited uh, you know a career of options given, and they have a, like a tree diagram and everything. So if you are getting commerce, this is your field, science, this is your field. So I went through the usual path, um, did my 10th, 12th in science and then took up engineering. But yeah, there came a calling kind of a thing, a hit that can I do this for uh, my life? And I had a no as an answer. That is when I started searching for all these institutes. Um, by this time, I knew that, okay, there are so many institutes in, um, in India what next? I mean, how do I even get into this? So I started searching for, you know, um, okay, uh, there are these competitive exams and there are institutes who prepare you for these co uh, competitive exams. When I was doing this, I was working full time uh, in an organization. So I was not, uh, you know, I was finding out institutes who would help me prepare for the uh, competitive exams, basically, for all these various design institutes. Uh, but during this time, I was still working full time in an organization. So I, I had this flexibility that, you know, the institutes provided me a weekend course. So I basically wanted to be sure that is this something I'm doing out of, uh, you know, boredom or I really want to build a career in this. So what I did is I kind of worked from Monday to Friday. 
and on saturday sundays i used to literally live in this institute and uh, try and you know prepare for these competitive exams so um one month in uh, in in this institute uh, basically who was preparing me i was sure enough that okay this is something which i uh, 100% want to do okay so that helped uh, in decision making uh, to quit my job and uh, go to this path so yeah that is pretty much it um uh, later on yeah i think uh, we have competitive exams for nid uh, idc and uh, mit um, all of that happened and then i got uh, shortlisted in mit um i gave my interview for product design um i had a, a portfolio uh which i showed and they interviewed me and then yeah i was selected in um, this program that is how it went so that's wonderful shweta and also hearing your journey it's really inspirational that after you working for 5 years then you have chosen design as your calling and then you shifted into this and it will be really inspiration for a lot of people who are right now planning to switch and but they are afraid of what if this decision is not correct and all so what was your take on that like post this graduating from mit like at what year you got graduated at yeah so i graduated in 2017 um yeah 2017 so like 2015 to 17 i was in college that's wonderful so how was your journey after that like if you could share few details after like what was your life after 2017 when compared to the before ones uh it has been um fun i mean it has been mixed okay i really cannot compare my journey as a technical business uh you know business analyst person with the designer because you know i'm working in an environment wherein the designers always have conflict with the bas okay so it's fun having you know having an experience in both the sides um i'm still in that journey uh, i'm still you know trying to figure out my own uh, set ways to uh, do this but till now i am having a lot of fun i do not have any i mean i'm i'm glad that i took this decision so yeah i'm much happier uh, now than i was earlier that's great shweta so let's talk about college and college side and how was your experience in college the fee structure how the masters program and all so let's start with your masters program and if you could tell us how was your experience doing masters with mit design yeah so um let us start with the interview or the portfolio presentation so one thing i really wanted to mention uh, which i experienced um my peers were just out of college or you know just out of uh, architecture or art institutes so they had a bunch of portfolio um, you know uh, with them already ready so going to this um, you know institute wherein they prepared me for uh, the competitive exam the work which i did uh, over there uh, that helped me that helped me build my own portfolio as well that is one thing I, which i really want to mention if anybody has to take up uh this course after 5 years of you know working in the industry it's it's kind of difficult but yeah you have to go all in um yeah so during the interview round uh i had opted for product design okay uh, so that was pretty much clear for me also i had done my research uh background research that i was sure that i wanted to do product design and i applied for product design so accordingly my interview went um i got into uh, so basically they put out a list of candidates who are being selected um you have an option to uh, you know stay in a hostel or stay outside of college but generally i think 98% of the people stay in the hostel because it's like just like one minute walk from the uh, college um yeah so i took i paid the fees i took the admission and the journey began um what i really like about this college is you know the kind of atmosphere uh, so because i have i'm coming from an engineering background this was new for me there are hands on thing happening there is no set lectures as such which are happening there is a brief given and then you are on your own to you know explore and experiment collaborate with different people so it was fun all in all 
we had a variety of courses uh, so mine was a four semester course right uh, first second third semester was in college and last semester was an uh, internship experience so first second and third uh, semesters it was like a variety of things which we could try right from we actually stitched caps to we built a 3d model um, in a cnc machine so all kind of uh, materials you could work with that gives you a you know uh, that gives you time or that gives you a decision making thing that okay what is my inclination towards we have a uh, different um, uh, yeah different workshops in college we have a um, um, a uh, wooden workshop wood workshop a uh, uh, metal workshop there is cnc machine there is a 3d printer and you can experiment uh, that is one thing we also had a course which uh, gave us basics of design right from you know how do you draw a single line to uh, colors and uh, we even have had a uh, you know a, a topic on film appreciation and photography so all in all we had a very wide variety of things in first year itself to lay that foundation as in when you go to your second semester and third semester we had real projects like a simple product design or a technical complex project or nature inspired design so these are the courses which will actually make you uh, work with materials which you have learned back in the semester 1 um then you have options that okay you choose one particular product which material um you know uh, is best suited to make this or something like that so it was pretty much fun we had hands on experience uh, they taught us uh, how to use photoshop and solid works and all kinds of tools and you are free to explore your own new tools which were coming into the market so education wise we had a good variety um of of things which we could do um with respect to fees um so it is a, diff- a little bit different for me because i had worked for 5 years i had kind of saved that much amount of money so i'm too scared of taking loans so i i i kind of did my own education um but it was pretty much uh, decent i mean i was not like, not like broke <laughs> after completing my education but yeah it was decent um you get scholarships uh, on interview i also had apply for scholarships but then yeah there were uh, deserving candidates who got scholarships uh, so they kind of have a percentage uh, of total fees that they can waive off but you will have to produce um, uh, some documents uh, and you have you followed by an interview and uh, the dean would you know interview you and they collectively take a decision to grant you a scholarship or not um apart from that uh, we had a heavy investment in the uh, coursework the materials which we use uh, um but that is like pretty much you have to use it and yeah i just went with one laptop uh, with me and rest of the things you could just you know get in and around uh, where your college is um that was the fee structure kind uh, part of it um with respect to stay Mm, i stayed in hostel and trust me it was the fun like fun bit like the fun part of my entire life i cannot forget that i made pretty amazing friends in college i am i, I am in touch with them on a day to day basis right now um so another challenge with me was that i was a little older than rest of my class my entire class but i am so lucky that i found friends who did not make me realize that i was you know an <laughs> older candidate or something but yeah the exchange of information and sharing was pretty good i felt i mean at least i had a wonderful experience um the college professors are pretty helpful in all aspects um i remember um so since you have a variety of courses right by the end of third semester you start getting a liking towards one of the course okay like 
uh, for me it was uh, business design and business okay like kind of inclined to strategic design so i could actually you know uh, bug my professors at you know a lot of times to get information from them and they were pretty happy to provide the information so it's an open door policy you can just go talk to um, anybody and everybody over there um apart from that yeah one thing i would like to mention is that when i did my course back in 2017 my course was a post graduate diploma and the year after in 2018 mit got a university grant so mit is a university now uh so if you take admission now you will be getting a mdes masters in design uh, degree uh, with you so yeah that is one thing like we missed out on one year <laughs> you are one year early uh, but all in all the campus is amazing uh, you have this river flowing and it you know kind of boosts your creativity also um it's very peaceful uh, it's like in a secluded village rural area so you have to really travel a, a, a long time to get to the city and you know hang out or something like that but what happens is since you are in this place which is like secluded you tend to form your own circle and start you know having innovative ways to have fun inside the campus itself um yeah that is pretty much it again um we have a lot of things going on on campus we have a different clubs we have like dance clubs um, poetry clubs uh, people would you know practice their uh, with their bands and everything um, on a normal day you would also see in the evening after uh, our college hours people who are skating in the corridors people who are teaching skating to other people and people falling down it is all in all a very um, fun environment to be in the college basically yeah that's that's wonderful and a lot of wonderful stories you had mentioned so that brought me to this question like so you were elder when compared to others of your course mates as you mentioned and previously you had no design experience also when compared to other candidates along with you so how was this transition for you over the period to you know understand all these different aesthetics materials textures and applying them so how was your journey through that like since your day one joining into the college um so a little back story to this uh, so my father and my aunt they are of a little bit artistic background so i kind of grew up in that environment so that was like a little bit of beneficial for me but then i would also say that um the time when i was preparing for the competitive exam that also kind of helped me you know um uh with the material uh, basically introduction to colors or figures or materials so that kind of gave me a head start so when i was in college okay i knew that okay what are you talking about and then uh, when i started when i was into this i started uh, parallelly reading about a lot of uh, stuff there are so, so many blogs um, uh, you have there are so many instagram accounts you could follow and so you are in that zone so it was not a huge transition for me but yeah it was a, a little bit but i was conscious enough because i was making an important decision that okay now i'm they keeping this aside i this is my future so yeah there there was a conscious effort from my end also uh, that i had to put in uh with respect to the age uh, difference um like i said that i had an amazing set of friends people did respect um the kind of experience i had and they would come to me to you know get certain suggestions but i would also go and you know uh, ask them for suggestions because i was i i took a long break before i came back to college um so it was a two way uh, communication and yeah and, and i think in that design environment right i feel that you know the mind is pretty much open so you don't face a blocker as such i mean i i did not at least yeah that's wonderful shweta so we'll conclude this by you you know telling us your journey comparing or in contrast with how you were earlier before you know graduating or having a 
design degree or having a design education um like i mentioned like it has been a roller coaster for me so i'll 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 i want to touch base on one more aspect of it about the uh, job opportunity if i may uh, so um i was pretty much uh, established in a it kind of a career but then it was a a a, a big jump for me uh when i kind of graduated um there are two things which i wanted to mention my internship played a very important role for uh, to know that you know where is my inclination towards so um my class was product design that is industrial design out of like 23 people i think today only four of them are actually working in industrial design studios or um, the thing but most of them found their way into user experience okay so i think for everyone the internship aspect of it kind of uh, was a decision making factor on where their inclination is i did my internship with john deere uh, i was actually designing physical uh, space for a, an operator experience station operator station um yeah and it was although it was fun but yeah that also taught me that okay i need to be patient enough for this to complete to go through all these cycles do i have any patience and then i had my calling that okay i um want to work in digital products and not physical products so i think a lot of people in um, i mean my friend circle uh, had this uh, understanding when they were you know uh, working during their internships um my journey has been fantastic i love my job whatever i am doing right now i'm 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 liking the work which i am doing right now um yeah so that is pretty much it so any advice or insight that you want to give to people who are transitioning their career what are the five tips that you will suggest to them five tips okay <laughs> first and foremost um i i know back in my time i did not have uh, an easy access to you know so much of information now you have read a lot about you know what are the career opportunities or what are they teaching you in a particular course follow a lot of instagram pages um there are so many medium articles would, which would help you um, youtube channels like yours um yeah facebook groups <laughs> facebook groups are uh, so i did my research through facebook groups i connected to a lot of people uh, through them uh, through the, those groups uh, secondly i would say at least it helped me of having an overlap um between my work and finding out you know uh, taking training or preparing myself for competitive exams that gave me a clarity that okay i want to do this so that i was so sure by that time um that i left my job even when i did not have admission in any college i was that I, and it made me that sure uh that thing third thing is you yeah, keep yourself updated on the trends which are there um there are so many you know design courses which are there it's not only industrial design or fashion design or uh so when you say design it's always like okay fashion design or in interior design so there are so many things which you could do like retail design is one of them uh, you nid is also offering a inclusive design kind of a course so you need to do your research on what type of design are there maybe you can follow uh, track people on linkedin stalk people on linkedin and see what they are up to maybe if they are up for it connect with them um yeah pretty much that i think uh, with respect to finances there are a lot of options which are available now you can take a loan you can um, have scholarships or uh, yeah some there are so many options right now um yeah those are pretty much it four four things i said to talk about and then have fun <laughs> have fun in the entire process that is most important that's wonderful shweta thank you so much for sharing all your great insights with us and inspiring people to you know take a break and do what they really passionate for or find their calling for 
so thanks once again thank you so much tej thinking about uh, job opportunity job aspect of it like i was mentioning there are uh, two things one is your internship and one is your placement so the college helps you with both of them um since your seniors would have done an internship in some organization they would come back and you know uh, offer internships for you as well or you can find your own internships uh, placements also uh, we have a very uh, we have a very nice placement cell uh, in mit and they help you out uh, you know getting in uh, getting all the um, companies they give a presentation and then followed by a interview round or uh, whatever so the only uh, you know thing with product design uh, like industrial design it is that 40 my in my batch uh, almost about over 40 p- 40% of people uh, were doing their internships as industrial designers um however when it came to placements and finding full time opportunities there were hardly hardly any i mean i can say so if you ask me presently if um, in 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 a batch of 23 uh, i can say that only four of us are you know associated with the industrial design field of it and all all the rest of people found their career in user experience um so yeah that is one thing to note um yeah that is it <laughs>